Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Scribble Knots Unmasked. Today we're gonna to be moving on with our super adventure by going to a whole new area. It is going to be the Wayne Manor, so I believe just maybe, well Wayne Manor, is that where they keep, no that's Arkham Asylum. So is this where, is this just like a different mansion than the Batcave? I guess so, it costs 2,000 to enter, which is plenty fun with us. There's something up at Wayne Manor. This must be Batman's mansion when he's Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Thought we were already here technically. Meanwhile, at Wayne Manor. We got our good old butler friend working. Oh no, the bust! What a shame. <laughs> Did I scare him? I didn't see anything, it's okay. Welcome to the Wayne Manor, young Maxwell. His name's Alfred. Thank you, Mr. Pennyworth. As I said before, Maxwell, please call me Alfred. Okay, Mr. Pennyworth. Later on, there will be a gala fundraiser for Batman Incorporated. Anything you can do to ensure that it runs smoothly would be greatly appreciated. However, there have been many strange occurrences of late in the manor. Should you wish to investigate them first? The choice is yours. I'm happy to help either way, Alfred. All right, well, looks like that's not gonna be something that's a part of the fundraiser. <laughs> Meanwhile, at, at, at Stately Wayne Manor. Cool, so it looks like we're helping out. So this is the star right here. We could get started with that right away, but I might as well do a couple of these first. Find the basketball and put it in the hoop. Find the basketball, don't create one. Oh, right here, okay, so pick this up, pick it up, and then move back this way and toss it in. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, throw it in. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Um, Try that again. We got the basketball, pick it up. No, no, no. What are you doing? Pick up, very good. <laughs> this is silly, I don't know why we're having a hard time. And then basketball goal, like I can throw it, I can throw it at him, but like I can't, I'll try this again, but no, it just, it doesn't work. Weird, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do then. Well, what in the world are you? What in the, Bloom? What is this thing? Referred to as the god of hunger, Bloom roams the galaxy demanding everything a world finds precious. Coming upon the palace of Laurel Fleas, he is consumed by the orange light and made a member of the Orange Lantern Corpse. Yeah, because Laurel Fleas is also very, very, show me something, my lantern, for my lantern color. Okay, so orange, a, a, an orange like the fruit. Sure, that's like the easiest thing. Orange, got it, here you go. He loves it, igniting the lantern. He's like, oh, my favorite color, I love it. What about this lady up here? What does she need help with? She won't really tell me. <laughs> Come on, you can talk to me. Maybe she just needs help with her, her thing. Smoking tandem wing. Uh, let's just make it fixed. F-I-X-E-D. Well, no, that's an object, okay. Uh, add adjective, there we go. F-I-X-E, nope, fixed. Yeah. Well, that didn't really do anything for her. <laughs> Maybe if I just clear the adjectives, I'll try that real quick, but then we gotta keep moving. So, remove adjectives. Wait, did I press the wrong button? I always press the wrong button. No, no, I did. Still isn't doing anything. Well, good luck, lady. Don't know what you're up to, you won't tell me. I'm so hot. If I don't cool down soon, I'll die. A civilian is overheated. Um, let's go ahead and get you a cold drink. So, C O L D. Uh, we can't, okay. A cold pack, that should work. Yeah, sweet relief, cool off. Cause I don't know how much uh, favor we'll need, so it's always good to just run around. And Wayne Manor's pretty cool, it's fun to explore. What about you? Who are you? You're a harm. You must not be a good guy, right? Adopted in an early age, Billy Hayes makes, his, uh, makes a deal with a villain by the name of Buzz. He is granted super strength and speed, body possession and mind control, and now calls himself Harm, and intends to be the world's greatest villain. He has come into conflict with the with the team hero group, Young Justice. What a jerk, why does he wanna do that? What do, what do they do to you? I don't know. <laughs> I like the Batman bed, just in case you know people are curious if he's Batman or not, or just a big fan alert. Civilian has been frozen. Mm, someone shot me with freezer. <laughs> oh gosh, poor guy. Let's go ahead and just make him heated, if we could. Or maybe, oh yeah, we're creating an object. Well, this'll work. Ouch, frostbitten, 100 more points for us. Very cool. Uh, no, not what I wanted. Let's move this way, what do we got? I forgot my magical tools. Not now. <laughs> okay, so street magic in progress. Let's go ahead and first off, make you a wand. So, W, A, and D. 
There you go. Strange magic. Are you a hero or a villain or just a magician? I think it's just a magician. Yep, just a magician. I like how there is like normal people just doing normal things around. That makes sense. Whoa. Who are you? You are. There's so many people around, but none of them are the ones I was trying to talk to. Hold on. Red Tornado, and next to a tornado. Red Tornado is an android with the power to control the wind and air. Its signature weapons are cyclones, which he can control and manipulate. Red Tornado seeks to become more and more human, eventually marrying a human named Kathy Sutton. Red Tornado is a longtime associate of the Justice League. It was originally created by the mad scientist T.O. Morrow. I feel like maybe we've read that one before. So what does he need? Tornado needs a victim. Create a new object. Uh, I guess just like, is this supposed to be like a, a reference to Wizard of Oz? Does she just need like a girl to be in the tornado? Use my tornado to take down harm. Oh, okay. So I gotta just go down there. Maybe I should go ahead and make Maxwell fly then. Create a new adjective, just like this, and then F L Y A I N G, flying, and then you, buddy, I'm gonna make you portable. So, P-O-R-T-A, there you go, accept it. So now, I should just be able to pick you up, or not. Sometimes this stuff is wishy-washy. There we go, I'm just gonna fly around with you and put you in the tornado. And that should be enough to take you down, right? Ow, wait, hey, how am I supposed to do harm to him? Phil, no, stop, stop. There we go. I did what you asked. There we go, 100 points. No, not the tornado. <laughs> so there we go, how many points do we have in total for that? 850. Uh, when it comes to what we need to earn up for next episode, we probably need a lot more something else. As you can see, we need, oh no, 2,500 of this. Okay, so it's good that we've been doing that. Not going in there now, of course. We'll go ahead and do the star right now. Hey, what's up, interact. Batman versus Raz Al Ghul. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Ra is unlike the Egyptian god. At the social event of the season, some uninvited guests are about to drop in. I'm ready to go to the that gala thing, Alfred. Splendid, Master Wayne awaits you in the drawing room. He asks you to speak him for, to him first before you enter the party. Oh, he's up there. So we gotta speak to him before we enter the party, but we gotta go through the party and talk to him. Oh gosh, I don't understand. So maybe I just gotta fly up? Or I could use like a hook shot. Let's try that out. I just sort of want to see if that works. So, uh, H, O, O, K. Oh, okay, maybe it's just one word? No, it's not at all. Uh, maybe, no, not a slingshot. What is that? What is that called? I thought it was a hook shot. Um, maybe just, never mind. You know what? Try to think outside of the box and I can't think of the word. So we're just gonna make him fly. F, L, Y. I N G. Look at him go. Hello there. I can talk to you without going through the party. You must be this Maxwell Alfred has told me so much about. We've already met you. I guess this is a different Bruce Wayne. I could use your help with something. Or no, you know what? Maybe he's still trying to keep secret. I thought that he would know that we would know. I suspect that one of my guests is a henchman, but who they work for, I'm not sure. First things first, you are a bit underdressed for, these, for this occasion. Can you use your notebook to make yourself some fancy clothes? Sure, we can do that. So let's go ahead and make a suit. I think that would work, right? I mean, I don't know if it's gonna, yeah, okay, that's the right suit. <laughs> it doesn't fit us very well. Splendid, you look very dashing. I need you to mingle with my guests and see if you can fl flush out the, uh, that henchman, shall we? Sure, flushing out the henchman then. Why does he look so evil? I don't know. So we need to talk to some of the guests. Well, first off, we have Alfred. I haven't read his bio yet. Butler, Alfred Pennyworth, has served the Wayne family for most of his life. After the death of Bruce Wayne's parents, Alfred becomes Bruce's legal guardian, helping him on his quest to rid Gotham City of crime that is as a Kate the Crusader, Batman. Nice. Uh, what about these other guys? Um, General of the Army. Is this like some, uh, the first lady of the president, businesswoman? Another businesswoman over here, Commodores, those are some important people. Hey, that is the kid the boss with something. Mr. Wayne, I found the henchman. Quickly, Maxwell, I need a distraction so I can, wow, that was fast, I didn't even see what it said. A distraction, huh? Well, nothing is more distracting than a hippo running across the party. H-I-P-P-O, uh, there we go. 
Everybody look, it's a hippo. Oh no. Okay, uh long live Raz Al Ghul. Let me go ahead and rid myself of the hippo. Okay, hippo, you've done your work. I need you to Hold on. Hold on, wait. Don't hurt anybody more. Hippo. Oh, I can't remove you? No, I can. There you go. See ya. Long live Raz Al Ghul. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maxwell Raul Raz Al Ghul did something. Why does the text like pop up for just a second? Oh, here he is. They discovered us. There seems little point in hiding now. Doppelganger, create some assassins to keep them at bay while we search the mansion. Okay, I'm on it. Oh boy. So they're gone again. What's going on with this? We need like some weapons here. Create a new object. I was gonna keep to the good old blaster because it's pretty useful. Uh, whoop. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and try to get rid of some of these ninjas that are attacking. Are these guys anything special or are they? They're assassins. An expert in martial arts, this is one of the many villains who make up the League of Assassins. The assassin is a disciple of Ra's al Ghul. Okay, but what about this other guy? If I look over there, there's some guy with gray hair. I can't see him right now, too far away, I guess. Got it? Ow, stop hitting me. Okay, now it's just me and you, it's David Kane. Father to the former Batgirl Cassandra Kane, this world-class assassin is the member of the League of Assassins. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so keep going, keep moving, don't stop. Yeah, nice, okay, we made it. How you doing, Batman? Uh, oh, there we go, just took a second. <laughs> yeah, to be dramatic about his being taken down. It's not here, we need to buy some more time. More assassins. Oh boy. Whoa, who are these guys? These guys are different as well. Hold on, hold on, let me pause. Uh, we have another assassin, probably this in description then. Looks like it. And then, geez, they're really beating me up. Assassin, assassin, Batman, Merlin. A master with the bow and arrow, Merlin is an assassin and the arch enemy of Green Arrow. Wowee. Okay, so, odd adjective, I'm gonna make myself healing so that I can healed. Okay, that works as well. Got it, run, because these guys have flamethrowers apparently and it hurts a lot. If I could just run far enough, and then zoom out. That guy with the bow and arrow is doing a really good job right now. Jeez, I can't really do much about this right now. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I need to move to myself, adjective, and then healed. Got it, no, it didn't work, come on. Create a new, no, 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 no. I do not want to die here because I have to do the whole thing over. Uh, Why is it, what the heck, game? One thing that's weird about this game is sometimes A is back and B is to proceed, and sometimes B is back and A is to proceed. Like A to, to adjective, no, okay, that didn't, also didn't work. Like, when I choose it, nothing happens. What the heck? Oh, maybe because I've already done it. Um, maybe protected? Or invincible? Let's just do protected. Uh, protected, except. Okay, so my blaster's gone. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not taking any damage anymore. That's great. So, uh, and this guy's protecting me. <laughs> Come on, Batman, help me out here. I really need some help. Yeah, this guy's just like my security guard. How wonderful. Secret agent. Thank you, secret agent. We're running out of time. Make them bigger and stronger. I'm trying. Whoa. Some more assassins, whoever that guy is. All right, I need a new weapon here. Let's go ahead and create a new object. Let's go ahead and make it, um, uh, I guess like, Hmm. What should I do? I don't know, there's like too many options. I, I always go with the chainsaw, but it usually works. I feel like I need something more range. Oh, it's just bow and arrow then. B, O, W, bow the weapon. Accept, got it. Okay, no, my secret agent, I didn't mean to do that. You protected me so well. I was just trying to test out my bow and arrow. I'm so sorry. Ooh, this thing, it does some damage. Also, who are these people? We got super strong Lady Shiva. The mother of Cassandra Kane, Lady Shiva, is arguably the world's greatest martial artist. She's one of Batman's deadliest enemies. Wow, okay, cool. And we got another assassin. Nothing too crazy with those. But I thought there was another person there as well. They just got taken out. Super strong assassin. Probably the same description then. Okay, yep. I don't know why they have different looks, but hey, I don't mind. Makes things a little bit more varietous. This is tough. I'm not as protected anymore. I mean, I'm not taking any as much damage because of my protection, I suppose. Okay, I just need to fight. Need to some martial arts. Just like you, sort of outnumbered. But I do end up healing back up, which is great. Come on, Batman, stop running in place. How about I bring them to you then? There you go, that should help. Help me out, Batman. 
Give me a hand. He's just waiting. Why do I gotta do everything? Hi -ya. Oh wow. Oh, boom. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't know why she's so gigantic, but she is. <laughs> we got her. Okay, so uh, he told us that the storage would be here, yet we have found nothing. Did you look behind the bookcase? Of course I did. It seems your new friend has outwitted me, detective. But someday you will see Gotham's need for balance, for a new justice that purges the old ways. The only justice I need is to see you, is, is to see, or what to see is you sitting in a cell in Arkham. Such a pity. We've wasted enough time. Doppelganger, leave them something to remember us by. Whoa, super dragon assassin. Is that what this thing is? No, Batman. Frost breathing, huge assassin. All right, Um, I need to create another new object. Let's try a, a boomerang. Will a boomerang work? And would that count as a weapon? A boomerang, except, there we go. I mean, other heroes use it. You would think that, oh, okay, Batman beat him up. Thank you, Batman. I don't know what happened to my boomerang. He faints. You were just the best. Oh, look, there's Alfred. Looks like he found something. Why would they expect to, expect to find a star right here? Perhaps they were looking for this one, sir. Where did you find this? While Ra'al's ghoul and, and his associates searched the house, I noticed something sparkling in the well. I thought it best to keep it to myself for the time being. I don't know why they need so many starites, but I'm positive they must be building something. We use the starites to power Lily's globe. Maybe they want to go somewhere? I need to get back to the back cave. The pieces of this puzzle aren't fitting together yet. Maxwell, you are more than welcome to stay here and continue to help me with these odd happenings if you sh sh should like to do so. However, if you feel like you are more needed elsewhere, then you should by all means move on. All right, well, thank you so much for the star, right? Hopefully that does give us, yeah, 500 favor, which is really helpful. Now again, dinner party completed. Yeah. So that is awesome. We definitely need that 500 favor. Um, ooh, only female DC Universe characters and adjectives are allowed. Huh. So in the meantime, my next area we'll be going to next episode is the Arkham Asylum. That needs 2,500 points. We need to earn another 1,110. So that's a lot of points to earn. Let's talk to this gamer guy. Um, collect all of the diamonds. I need to be smaller. Uh, is that okay? That It said female adjectives. Like, what does that mean, you know? We'll just make him small and see if that works or if that's gonna cancel everything out. I mean, it doesn't seem like you did. Oh, here we go. I'm still not small enough. Really? Okay. That's weird. I just want to choose Maxwell. What's going on with this? Uh, yeah, we're, just let me select Maxwell. I don't want all the diamonds. I want Maxwell. There we go. Small Maxwell. I've. Uh, let's make him tiny. Tiny. Small. Tiny. Okay, that's good. All right. So let's go through. Collect all the diamonds. Oh, but now I can't jump high enough. Really? There's always a problem. Where's Maxwell now? <laughs> come on, come on. Wait, yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Add adjective, lastly, let's make him flying. There we go, accept, accept. There we go, now we can collect all the diamonds. Jewel, 200 points, not bad then, not bad at all. Let's zoom out a little bit. We'll turn my pearl, sapphire, and crystal. Uh, just, just villain detected, or civilian detected. I want to form a Band, but I don't have anyone to fill it out. All right then, let's create a new object. Wait, who are you? John Constantine. Hailing from England, John Constantine is both a con man and one of the most powerful magicians on all the planet. He is an expert on the dark arts and Earth's protector against black magic and evil sorcery in all forms. If I try to make just a violinist, Violinistic, oh, that's adjective. Not what I wanted. Uh, create a new object. Uh, V-I-O-L-I, -I, violinist. That word is not allowed, okay. Um, musician. I don't know any female musician heroes, gotta be honest. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. Okay, I can't help you, buddy. One of the, sometimes like these requirements are weird and don't make too much sense to me. Because I can't determine whether that person's a male or female. I'm so hungry. Let's go ahead and give you a, a sandwich. That should be good, right? S-A-D. 
N D W I C. There it is. That word's not allowed. So some of these, like only female DC universe characters and adjectives are all allowed, are allowed. Some of these are just it cannot be solved. Then it does that doesn't make too much sense. What won't run along? Okay, I need to close Mr. Mr. Spitalix's thing because I can't actually. What is going on with that? Uh, the railroad has a puzzle. So what was your puzzle, buddy? I, are you not gonna tell me anymore? Who is the Riddler, by the way? Edward Nigma is an intelligent criminal who can solve any puzzle. As a Riddler, he commits crimes that revolve around elaborate riddles and games. He is an arch enemy of Batman. All right, and you're not gonna tell me your, your riddle anymore? I guess not, thanks, dude. There are some weird things. I really did prefer in Scribblenauts Unlimited where you could select the character and see the quest. I don't think you could do that here. You can't, and it's like, why not? That's such a simple thing to have. So there are some weird, like, step forwards and steps back for this game compared to its prequel. Uh, my eight of hearts is stuck in the Lazarus pit. Okay, I don't see it. Empty it. Oh, what? okay, there it is. Uh, well, let's read on some characters here. First off, Lazarus Pit. The toxic chemicals contained within the Lazarus Pit have the ability to resurrect the dead. However, those who use it may emerge temporarily insane. And then there's also, um, We've read about Skin Joker before, but I haven't really read about Ra's al Ghul. Just did a mission about him. A brilliant conqueror and environmental genius, Ra's al Ghul is one of Batman's most cunning foes. Born several centuries ago, Ra's defies death by immersing himself in the Lazarus Pit whenever necessary. Obsessed with uniting the world under his control someday, Ra's personal army is the League of Assassins. Ra's name is Rabik and means head of the demon in English. He is also the father of Talia al Ghul. All right, well there we go, we got 200 points for that one. And in total we have 1,810. I'm looking for like, what, 2,500 points? That seems to be the most I can do in this area. Mix this spittle is making the rest of it impossible, as far as I can tell. Um, so we're going to move into some different areas. We can move back over to uh, Bella Reeve and see if we can't get a couple of missions there. I do not want to do that, no. <laughs> I'll attack on the next mission when I have the time to. A mysterious plague is infecting the masses. Uh, I don't know where that is. Theft in progress, my brooch was stolen. What is Roach? I guess I'll find out. Help me protect myself. Let's go ahead and make you protected as well. We tried this earlier and it worked out pretty well. So get the dexterous seal ad adjective. Uh, P R O T E C T. There you go. Protected. Accept. There you go. Taking. Why are you guys fighting? Should work together. Oh, and there's another secret agent. Oh no. Hold on tight, buddy. No, did not work. Oh. Why are you guys so violent? I don't understand. <laughs> so I need to find your brooch. I don't know, that's just weird. I don't know, some of the missions are just bizarre. Move back this way. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna keep playing until we get the 2,500 points, which is 700 more than what we currently have. Help! What is this, is this the brooch? This is a cabinet, empty the cabinet. Constantine Draken. <laughs> A Greek assassin, Constantine Draken, is often found at odds with the Green Arrow. Draken is an expert martial artist, even besting the legendary Connor Hawk at one time. Wow. Whoa, missing person secured. Well, okay, now he's unsecured. What about you? You're Harvey Bullock. Detective Harvey Bullock is a crooked cop working for the Gotham Police Department. Under the direction of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Bullock is directed to try and sabotage Commissioner Gordon in his attempt to help Batman in cleaning up the streets. Wow, what a jerk. Well, there's nothing else going on this way. Might as well move back to the left and see who else I can help. But yeah, the, the mission system can just be odd and doesn't always work the way you'd expect it to. Okay, what do you need help with? What are you, a badger? Wolverine, so hungry. Starving Wolverine spotted. Let's go ahead and give you lunch. Uh, L-U-N-C-H, lunch. Here you go. Make you happy? 100 points, get in my belly. More. Oh my, I wanna get out of here before it becomes a problem. Uh, don't feel so good. Help cure our plague. What are you, plague replicant? After being joined with a humanoid from the future, Tony Gamby becomes replicant, a villain with the ability to replicate to replicate any weapon. He is an enemy of the Flash. I think it means replicate any weapon. So let's see if we can't get a cure for you. It's probably the most simple thing. No, wait. It does not not work. No, I didn't mean to attack you. Dang it, that's gonna ruin it, isn't it? Let's try an antidote. Probably not gonna work because that's more for like poisons, not for plagues. Oh, okay. 
Two more hosts are sick. Okay, I don't see any right now, but I'll keep it in mind. Let's move, oh, I did see somebody over that way. Uh, help us cure our plague. Are you still trying to attack me? Yeah, you're mad at me still. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, create a new object. Can I make it again? There we go. Oh, now we're minus 50% though. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So who is this? This is another character. Uh, if I'm already, you know, minus 50%, I might as well just keep going and do it again. 150, so it could have been 300. Oh well, 150 is still a lot. No, I'm not moving on. 2180, we're getting there. Two leprechauns. Uh, are they doing anything? Lucky pot of gold, can I just pick it up? Thank you. Hey, give that back. All right. Uh, well, I might need it for something. I'm gonna keep it for now, sorry. I have no idea what that one guy who wanted a brooch, I don't know what that is. Uh, the brooch is mine, oh, okay. Oh, oh, did you just throw it? Give that back. What do you mean give that back? You threw it at me. There it is, okay. So let's quickly get this brooch, <laughs> we're so small. Uh, pick it up, and then I need to go back up this way, fly on over, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Excuse me, Wolverine, thank you. He's so fast. Go all the way to the tippity top, and it's this guy that I need to give the brooch to. Don't attack me, polar bear. Where is he? Uh, not close enough. Now I should be. You know, I'm just gonna give it to him. My brooch was stolen. Give. There you go, the stolen jewels. 50, only 50 points for that, I mean. Even 100 points seems a little low. Wait, not 22, 30. It's just a little bit more until we got it. <laughs> so let's keep going. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's too much more down there. I feel like it would be faster just to like reload the area or find a new one. Let's go back to Arkham, or Gotham. I mean, Gotham City. Yeah, I guess Arkham City and Gotham City are too different. I don't know what what the thing is there. Uh, but with this one, Looks like there's some stuff going on inside of the police department, so I should go down there first. I think I can take this elevator. Indeed I can. Hello, uh, give me something to whittle with. Whittle with? Wouldn't that be like a knife? Uh, here you go. There you go, whittle away. Oh my, what in the world is that? Wooden tally man. Tallyman 1, the victim of several childhood tragedies. The Tallyman is a Gotham City assassin who collects human debts for his clients. He is the enemy of the Batman. Weird. Okay, what about you? Dispose of the silver kryptonite in that dumpster. So, uh, we need like a bucket, right? Maybe that would just burn right through the bucket. I'm not really sure. I don't know what uh, kryptonite can be contained in. I guess we'll try to find out. Um, I'm gonna quit the bucket, and then you see this tiny going Maxwell. Yeah, uranium silver kryptonite. An ore that is infected with pieces of the evil Brainiac. Silver kryptonite causes Superman and other Kryptonians to hallucinate and have paranoid delusions. So I just wanted to, empty item? No, 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 I wanted to pick it up. Oh, I can just pick it up like this. Why does it hurt me? Are we superheroes? Oh, I mean, well, yeah, we're a superhero. But are we Superman? Come on, fill it. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So weird. Bill, there you go, toxic hazard, 100 points for that. Oh my, I'm out of here. Don't even want to see what's going on. What about you two? You seem to be up to something. Uh, give me something to win over Bombshell Zatanna. All right, Bombshell Zatanna. An associate of John Constantine and the Justice League Dark, Zatanna is a powerful magician and sorceress. Her powers are triggered by reciting the words in each of her spells backwards. Her father is the legendary Zatara. A lot of magicians in DC Comics. And then who are you? Just a man. Something to win over, maybe a rose? Like, I don't know what would win her over. I don't know what her personal interests are. Maybe that, okay. She loves me not. Hi, I'm man, and I love, nice try, not interested. Wowee, totally rejected. I am not ready, Lily, I get it, but don't be so persistent. What do we have with points? 25, 60, so we'll just go ahead and get one more done so that we're, because we're just gonna need more and more as we go on. I need something to tie my French Bulldog to. All right, a fire hydrant would work, I'm sure. He might also want to pee on it, but that's okay. All right, fire hydrant, put it there, excuse me. No, that, that, would, that would definitely work. What are you talking about? Maybe I have to get it myself. Pick up, no, pick up. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. Interact. <laughs> okay, this is all wrong. Uh, pet. All right, well, I'm getting rather confused and maybe we should finish it off with that. We'll try to get one more mission done. Dodge these mines, I'm bringing this dog to safety. 
That's what I'm doing. I'm a hero after all. Uh, is there anybody who needs my help this way at all? Doesn't really look like it. There's somebody up here. What about this guy? Oh no, we need to shock groupie? The chief, who's ch the chief? A paraplegic genius obsessed with the supernaturally bizarre, Dr. Niles Calder engineered the creation of the Doom Patrol to protect the Earth from unnatural threats, AKA the chief. What about this guy, a dead groupie? Uh, so, what is it called? Oh man, uh, maybe if we just put an EMP. No, no, not, not an EMP, wrong thing. Uh, EMT, that's what I meant, EMT. Maybe they could help? Probably not. What is that thing? Defibrillator, that's what it's called. D. Oh, oh. Fib. Defibrillator, I suppose. Like, if you're not gonna use that, then I will take it from you. Steal. Hold on. Can I drop the dog? There we go. <laughs> and then. Shock him. Hold on. Not you, not you, not you, not you, you. Shock him. There we go, respawns! That's 100 more points. The Goopy was actually a deadly cyborg run. Well, that didn't work out very well for him. But anyways, we have 2,600 points, almost 2,700, and if we take a look at the world map, that means next episode we can tackle the next level, which is right down this way. That is Arkham Asylum, 2,500 points. So we'll not buy that now, we'll buy the next episode and enjoy it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Scribble Knots Unmasked. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Batman Zebra, so you've watched at the end of the you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing, join the zebra herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.